Hi and welcome and in this blog I want to talk about how to achieve a state of meditative absorption or jhana state as they're more commonly known in sort of the meditation world. A state in which rapture and bliss arises and our mind focuses on one uh, particular object which is normally the actual bliss and uh, rapture that arises. There are eight jhanas, uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, uh, I only want to talk about this stage, just the first jhana. And it's an amazing state, it's more of an, obviously a bit more of an advanced uh, meditative practice, but at least let's sow the seed as something that perhaps you can um, aim for. Because when you achieve one of these states, uh, the experience is so powerful, it will completely change the way you look at the world and the rest of your life forever. So it is definitely something that can be achieved by everybody and something to aim for if you're a serious meditator. So the way in which we do it is we need to focus so precisely on one particular object that all the negative thought patterns fall away, at least temporarily while you're in the jhanic state. To do this, we need to uh, establish uh, you know, concentration typically uh, on one object, which is often the breath, um, for an extended period of time and use all the uh, teachings that I've put together so far to achieve that. Now, at some stage, when you're able to keep a uh, focused attention on the breath for a period of time, the negative thought patterns will fall away such that you will start to achieve feelings of peacefulness, uh, feelings of joy and feelings of rapture in your meditation. Now to enter a jhanic state, at this point you actually change the meditation object from your normal object to this feeling of rapture. Um, in Pali it's called piti. Uh, so this feeling of sort of effervescence of, um, you know, good happiness feelings that come up in your body. You can actually feel them physically. And you swap from concentrating on the breath to concentrating on this feeling of uh, joy, rapture, peacefulness, whatever it is. And you gradually enter more and more into that. You allow yourself to sink in. And there's a bit of a feedback loop which sets up in that when you taste the feeling of this joy and rapture, your mind wants to go further into that state. And as a result, it releases all its negativities and its worries and its other thought patterns as more and more of your mind decides for itself at an unconscious level to go more into this state of rapture. Of course, we can uh, facilitate this by deliberately trying to sort of, uh, you know, allow us to just sink ourselves into these feelings. And as those hindrances or those negative thought patterns uh, dissipate more, then the feeling of rapture increases further. And so you create this feedback loop until you're concentrating wholly and solely on that state of bliss. And you can stay you know, in that uh, state for an extended period of time. Now there are things uh, which can pull you out if you get disturbed or even if you sort of grasp um, at that uh, rapture state, you know, as if it's not going to last and that kind of attachment, that grasping uh, idea in your mind will actually pull you out of the jhanic state. So things like that. So it t does take a bit of practice to sort of you know, um, maneuver yourself, so to speak, into uh, deeper states of absorption. But uh, that is a rough guide, just an overview, if you like, on how to get into a jhanic state. There is, of course, much more detail, and uh, if you're interested, then we will be talking about this in our weekly catch-ups as well. But for now, I hope that sows the seed for something to work towards. 
And maybe, uh, you never know, many of you listening to this may have spontaneously experienced uh, feelings like this in your own meditation practice because it can come spontaneously even to beginner meditators. So if that's the case, then great. We can work on um, accentuating those as well. So that's it uh, for this blog and I hope your meditation uh, is going well in whatever form it takes. Thank you.